These are five creepy urban legends that turned out to be true. Number five. The legend of Dog Boy originates out of Arkansas. It features a sinister little boy who spent his childhood years ruthlessly torturing and experimenting on local dogs and cats. Legend has it that the boy has paranormal powers too. Incredibly, the Dog Boy legend is mostly real and is based on the real life of Gerald Bettis, who actually added onto the family home so that he could store more stray dogs and cats to torture. Gerald was also a tyrant when it came to his parents. He kept them virtually imprisoned in the upstairs part of the house. He would feed them, but only when he decided it was time for them to eat. While there's no proof that he had any kind of paranormal powers, he was six foot four and weighed close to 300 pounds, which must have made his behavior all the more terrifying to his victims. Number four. The Cropsey urban legend developed through the 70s and 80s after several children went missing from Staten Island. The story revolves around a classic but creepy boogeyman type figure who stole children. Nestled in the woods nearby was the Willowbrook State Facility for Mentally Challenged Children, an institution now notorious for squalid living conditions. In the late 80s, police finally began to home in on a man named Andre Rand, a former Willowbrook employee who had since been living in the woods. He was a drug user and possibly an occultist. Though he was never officially charged with the Staten Island child murders, Rand is currently serving 50 years to life for kidnapping and first degree murder, and is still the top suspect in the Crosby disappearances. Number three. The human fat vampire legend actually has a 400 year old history in Peru. During this time, locals spoke of vampires who hunted down and fed on the blubber of tourists and left behind bodies drained of all their fat. It turns out that the legend may have been true all along, except the vampires are traffickers who hack people up and remove their fat to sell on the black market. Peruvian police investigated this story for years, and in 2009, the director of Peru's criminal investigation unit announced they'd broken up a criminal gang that traffics human fat. Number two. Legends of people being frozen solid and somehow living have persisted over the centuries, while scientists maintain it is not medically possible. Jean Hilliard from Minnesota is a survivor of a severe six hours freezing after a car accident. She survived and her recovery was described as a miracle. On December the 20th, 1980, Jean Hilliard was involved in a car accident which resulted in car failure in sub-zero temperatures. She walked to a friend's house two miles away and collapsed 15 feet outside the door. Temperatures dropped to minus 22 and she was found frozen stiff at 7 a.m. after six hours in the cold. She was transported to a hospital where doctors said her skin was too hard to pierce with a hypodermic needle and her body temperature was too low to register on a thermometer. Her face was pale and her eyes were solid with no response to light. Her pulse was slowed to approximately 12 beats per minute. She was wrapped in an electrical blanket. After 49 days, she left the hospital with no permanent damage to the brain or body besides frostbite. Number one. The Green Man or Charlie No-Face is a long-standing urban legend of a green glowing supernatural entity or demon that wanders the backcountry roads at night. The legend is based on a real person, Raymond Robinson who was nearly fatally injured in an electrical accident when he was young. He lost his eyes, nose, one ear and one arm. His skin was so badly damaged it gave off a strange hue which is where the green in Green Man originated. Excluded from society, Raymond walked the country roads of western Pennsylvania by night because this was the only time he could go outside without causing mass hysteria. 